Let's talk about the flux core arc welding. Uh, you got your internal shielding and you have your external shielding. So this will probably help you with your part A on your CWI exam, understanding what these uh, electrodes stands for and how they operate. And this right here down at the bottom is just a little video of what the flux core arc welding look like. This right here is the self shielding, inner shield. So let's go through the process of identifying the electrode. You know, American Wellness Society, they developed a system to identify these electrodes. As we look right here, that E lets you know that's an electrode. And this number right after the E, it tells you your tensile strength, which that's 70,000 pounds per square inch, the minimum tensile strength. Then the number next to the seven, which would be either a one or a zero, whatever, but it tells you your position. And this T right here lets you know that, hey, this is a tubular wire, which lets you know it's a flux core wire. And then the last digit, which is very important right here, is the chemical and operating characteristics. Lets you know if you, hey, you're gonna operate this on direct current electrode negative or electrode positive or AC, whatever the characteristics. But what's uh, the other importance is, this number also lets you know hey, if this is an internal or external shielding. As you can see, this is a six. So that lets me know, hey, this is a self-shielding electrode. So anything that ends in a three, four, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and 13, and 14, that means it's self-shielding. So you don't need no external shielding gas. So if you're working around the house and you could buy electrodes, from Home Depot or maybe Harbor Freight, make sure it ends in this last digits right here. And most of it, it ends in 11. It'll be a E71T-11. So you don't need no external shielding gas. But if it ends in a 1, 2, 5, 9, or 12, that means you need some type of external shielding, like CO2, 7525 argon. Uh, that's what, that, so make sure you understand what these last digits mean. But I'm going to show you here, I bought this little machine here at Harbor Freight. It's really good around the house if you want to fix up a few things. And it gives you, if you open the panel, it tells you your settings and everything. And I'm going to be using the E71T-11. And I'm going to make a little quick well and just show you what it looks like. Don't forget to subscribe, like, turn on your notifications, and share this video. Also, leave comments. Thanks for watching. Welding and stuff.